I'm excited today because we're going to go and see a therapy dog at university. There's a student who's doing their dissertation on therapy dogs and how much they help, obviously. The kind of student I can get with, you know, learning way. <laughs> but I, I don't know them, but um, I'm hoping to talk to them a little bit, assuming my brain allows. And um, so I'm wearing my favourite Harry Potter jumper and we're going to go see them. I think I'm probably going to leave Penny in the car at first so I can actually partake in her experiment which is um, seeing, I think it was measuring like blood pressure and stuff before and after petting a therapy dog which I can get with. Um, it's, it's not her therapy dog, it's an organisation's dog. I don't know which organisation. I'm assuming pets are therapy because they're the main ones you'll see in this region. Um, I don't think any other organisations are nearby who would do this. So I'm assuming pets are therapy, but maybe not. We'll see. But um, yeah, so I'm kind of excited because being another working dog is always exciting. I'm also hoping to get a picture of the dog and Penny staying next to each other nicely because everyone has pictures of all these dogs sitting nicely and working nicely and I'm like, we don't meet any other dogs apart from that one the other day and that, that was not a working dog. <laughs> so that's what I mean, so it'll be nice to meet another gen gen genuine working dog and um, say hi and uh, so hopefully that'll be fun. <laughs> you better get ready then. I've already given her a brush and checked her over for any mud or anything. Also, it's not very light at all because I only have one window in my flat. So now, we better get ready. We better get... We're going to use your proper lead. And we're going to use well, your proper vest. The only vest we use at the moment. <laughs> and we're going to go get ready. Yeah! Come in then. <laughs> so I just emailed um, a spot who I talk to a lot and she said 11.45 is fine so we're about to leave I'm really excited I don't know why I'm so excited I guess it's literally first of all I do love therapy dogs and the work they do in hospitals and things and second I am excited to meet another genuine working dog because we have no none close by so we're ready for all our gear and we'll be heading out This dog was so calm, we just sat and talked to him, uh, talked to the dog, well, kind of talked to the dog. But he just literally just lay like just in front of me with his head on my knee, and he just, and I was just talking to this guy and just telling him about the world and stuff. And, and um, this dog was just laying there, which is really nice. And uh, like Penny kind of does that, but, um, but he, he was also saying that Bailey isn't actually that cuddly. And I was like, yeah, I, I feel like, like Penny's the same, like she will cuddle, but more on her terms. A bit like a cat. <laughs> uh, like she, she'll if she wants to do other she things. Yeah, she she did. She 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 is she's lovely, but like she isn't isn't what I would call a cuddly dog. Uh, I have to say like. But anyway, so I was explaining him to the difference between therapy dog and assistant dogs, and so I hope he can get it all sorted and right and. Well, I guess if he hasn't had any issues yet. No, but that's Not because there is any issues, so. yeah. But that's because we live in such a, I would say, remote area. Like I said, there's not many access problems either, which is why we saw that fake dog the other day. Um, which is both good and bad 
good for people who are legit doing it and bad for people who are trying to legit doing it and people who are not legit doing it. <laughs> Which is, um, so it's, it is, no it's fine, I mean it's not a huge deal until you try to do something specific. Like I said, awesome dogs in Cheshire began by calling themselves syrup dogs because it is kind of a fine line to tread but the general difference is that a therapy dog goes to places meets a lot of people and calms them down whereas an assistance dog is task trained to assist one, one person, person or a family and i was just trying to explain this to him so i don't know i hope he i don't know i hope he just took on a, like and as friendly advice and not me just telling him how to do his job because i really wasn't doing that i, I really enjoyed talking to him and stuff so hopefully <laughs> Hopefully that was alright, but no, it was very nice, we just chatted, and the student was very interested to find all this out as well, she was sitting in there with us, and um, so, that, yeah, and uh, it, was, it was a surprise because I was expecting to see like a pet therapy dog, but it was kind of nicer that it wasn't just uh, an organization dog, you know, and I got to talk to him about all the work he's doing, and it was good, and uh, I want to see if I can contact him, you know, and just, uh, I don't know, I, I want to say make sure he's doing it right, but like, I feel bad because I get, he definitely knows what he's doing, but he's just got to, it's just, you know, the law and all that, that's that stuff, that boring stuff, you know, kind of got to import on, you know, and Penny had a nice time, I got a few nice pictures of them just sat together, which is nice because now I can post them and be like, I meet other dogs too, <laughs> yeah. but um, yeah. Vocalization was a little odd. It wasn't a problem because, you know, his tail was wagging, he was totally fine. He was just grumbling. He's just a vocal dog, which is fine. I mean, it's not a big deal. I would say maybe working on a little bit, but, um, yeah. He, he wasn't a chunky dog. He was just a big no, lab. He, was, he wasn't chunky. He was, he was he, just a big lab. Big Labradors lab. are just different, you know? Mm. But, um, she was just a small lab and he was a big lab. <laughs> it turned out to be a really nice day. So we're going to head into Brixham for an hour and just um chill out i haven't been for ages which is why i wanted to go it's a really nice quaint little town um and it's like a fishing port and stuff uh, i'm gonna head into brixham go on some charity shops and stuff and i
Same. It's what they usually want, but it works similar. 